What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and in today's video, we are talking about Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Dead Online, updates, DLC, and more. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button as I upload Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online content every single day. And let's waste no more time and get right into the thick of this commentary. Now, as many of you guys know, Rockstar is doing what they can when it comes to updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. We don't know of anything coming to Red Dead Redemption 2 as terms of DLC. DLC or any extra content to add to the story, but we do have more information about Red Dead Online updates coming throughout these weeks and months to come. As you guys know, the first installment of their big update series uh, recently hit, and it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. I think a lot of us were pretty let down with the first beta update, as it really wasn't the big update all of us wanted, but it was definitely some extra content that we sort of needed. The things that arrived are like new weapons, new game modes, challenges, and a few other things still left to come. But the big question is, are all the updates going to be trickled down updates? Now, you guys are new to Rockstar Online games. They are very, very used to doing trickle down content. What they do is at the beginning of a month, they release a huge update announcement saying, hey, we have a huge update coming next week or next month. And they'll list off a ton of great things coming and then they'll say, and more. And what they do is with that huge list of things, they'll release it over the weeks to come. So let's say they say, hey, we're gonna get heists. We're gonna get store robberies. We're going to get a uh, wagon DLC and we're going to get, I don't know, uh, pets you can own. And all four of those things will be released, but they'll be released over the course of a month or a few months. So they'll just release it over time into trickle DLC. And it's not, it doesn't all come all at once. So with the most recent update, we had, of course, the uh, daily challenges. We had the fool's gold event and we had challenges for, or daily challenges um, that include soon to be fishing challenges. So those are pretty cool things. And of course, new showdown modes um, like the uh, fool's gold, up in smoke, spoils of war and plunder four new showdown modes and we've only received two of them so this tuesday we should be getting a brand new update that showcases probably up in smoke and or plunder as well as fishing challenges and maybe even the functionality for the weekly challenges now there's been talk for weekly challenges to come to Red Dead Online. Of course, we haven't heard a lot of information of what's to come from these weekly challenges, but there's supposed to be a week's worth of challenges that are pretty difficult, but something you can complete over the week. And in doing so, you'll actually earn more XP and gold nuggets than you normally would through a daily challenge. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. I'm assuming the way it's gonna be handled is if you complete all the challenges, then you are rewarded something. You will not be rewarded every single challenge you get a reward. So it's probably just gonna be a weekly challenge. Once all those challenges are completed, you get a large reward at the end of the week. Now, if that's the way it's done, I think that's a great way to do it. I think it encourages players with the daily challenges and the weekly challenges to be more active in Red Dead Online. Now, with the most recent world enhancements, including updated player radar and visibility, as well as a lawn bounty system, which we're gonna get into, I feel like the, the online world of Red Dead Online has changed a lot. I need your opinion, dudes. I wanna know what you guys think about this do you think that the online system has been improved and have and you've seen less griefers with the newest update i personally have not seen less griefers i've seen an equal amount of griefers and i don't know if the player visibility really helps the griefing problem here's my suggestion i want to know your feedback on what you think of this now i would love to see a functionality of the player uh, griefing system to only impact players that kill other players so this is what i mean as you guys know when you open up the map right now you don't see anything around you because unless they're close by now the problem with this is that if you are a normal player someone that doesn't go around griefing players all day it sort of limits your interactivity with other players in red dead online but if you are a known griefer, then you should be subject to that change, not everybody in the 32 player lobby, which I don't know is possible. So what I would like to see is if you are a griefer, you can't see other players on your map. That would really, really help, I guess, making Red Dead Online feel more alive. Now, if Red Dead Online allowed so players could see other players that are not griefers, so you know, me and Billy Joe, both of us are not griefers, we should be able to see each other on the map. But unfortunately, the griefing problems sort of hurt everybody. And uh, I don't know if the player visibility and the um, the way player blips are shown on the map really helped anybody besides griefers. Like it, it only like stopped 
griefers a little bit, but not really. It's really weird. I don't really know or why that was like the automatic, like, hey, this is how we fix this problem. I don't think it fixed the problem. And I need your, I need your suggestions and comments down below because I feel like Rockstar may have gotten some poor feedback uh, from their feedback section thinking that this would be a fix to a large problem. But this is just a small fix that causes an even bigger problem, making Red Dead Online feel even more empty than it really is. I, I was about to say dead, but I don't want to use that word just yet. On top of that, we also received enhanced law and bounty systems. Now, if you guys know, if you start off trouble in Red Dead Online, you now get a bounty system on you that uh, sends police NPCs after you. That's right. Um, if you if you cause enough problems, the NPCs will come after you and, well, they'll have a bounty on your head. Now, if you run into anybody, if you accidentally like hit somebody with your horse or if you accidentally punch somebody, you automatically have a witness and that witness will turn into a, a wanted level for you by NPCs, which personally I hate. I think it's the worst system they could have brought into online because the bounty hunters and, and the NPCs that hunt you add no value to you as a player. They only add add value to to rockstar to take money away from you and that's what sort of sucks it feels like that system they implemented is only for us to lose money and it no way shape or form helps us make money and it's sort of unfortunate uh because i was really looking forward to a lawn bounty system players could hunt other players and i totally misunderstood them when they first announced the law and bounty system because it doesn't it doesn't work it may work really well for rockstar like hey well we have bounty hunters that are dispatched for people that cause trouble but at the end of the day i don't think it does a good job for players for giving players things to do an example if we rob something if we do anything if we hold somebody up they're gonna there's gonna be a witness and with that witness comes a large bounty for your head and sometimes it's like a few cents so it starts off like with every kill or every murder you commit, it's like eight cents. And every eight cents, it just keeps adding up. So the more people you kill, the higher bounty is. Now, if you don't pay your bounty and a bounty hunter is dispatched to get you, let's say you owe $10 or let's say you owe $100, then if a bounty hunter kills you, then you just lost $100. But if you paid off through the mail system at uh, your local mailbox, I guess, yeah, your local mailbox, you will then only have to pay half of that money. So you only have to pay $50 if you owe 100 but if a bounty hunter kills you you lose all 100 dollars. that doesn't really help us as players it, it it doesn't add anything for us so i'm a little confused on why they would even add something like that to the game because it doesn't really add any replayability value to red dead online i think that's what we're missing right now red dead online is missing that that feeling of makes you want to play every day now i know a lot of you guys do already play every day but it, I'm talking for long-term players. There is so many games, and I mentioned this in the last video, there's a lot of games that Rockstar needs to compete with, even its own game, GTA 5 Online, to make people want to have interest in Red Dead Online. And unfortunately, even though this game sold millions upon millions of copies and there's they made hundreds of millions of dollars, I don't feel that same amount of player base that played story mode is playing online. And a lot of you guys that have been playing online have went back to the story mode to replay it. I get messages from you guys online all the time saying, Garrett, I've played story mode now two, three times and I love it, but online just isn't there for me. I don't connect very well with my own character I created. And I hear where you guys are coming from. I think the biggest problem that Rockstar suffers is uh, a few things. Replayability right now just isn't there because it is in beta, it's still in development. And also, there's not a connection to the characters. Um, I think one of the reasons why a lot of these games succeed and a lot of uh, people enjoy certain shows is because people can connect with a character in a show or in a game. They can really feel where they're coming from. And let's use Game of Thrones as an example because Game of Thrones is one of the most successful uh, shows that's out and has been out for many seasons. And people really connect with every single one of the characters. And when a character dies in that show, people are so hurt. Similar to the story mode. When characters die in the story mode, dudes, we all felt that pain. It was like, this is horrible. But in online, it's just like, whatever, bro. Bang, bang, shoot, shoot, skeet, skeet. Like, no one cares. And I think that's the issue. And um, I think that, like, you creating your character in Red Dead Online, I feel like the character creation is so limited and the fact that you can't even use your own character created name instead of you use your PSN name in game sort of sucks too. Like you should be able to have like a character and you could be a sheriff or you can be an outlaw and you can choose which path you want to go down. You want to be a cop or a robber and like dudes the game would be just way more fun if it was cops versus robbers. Um, it would be a very different experience 
if you could choose what you wanted to do. Like if you could be an outlaw or you could choose to be a sheriff, all these things would be so different. But of course, that's just my opinion. Let me know down below what you guys think of the current Red Dead Online cops versus robbers dilemma. And uh, I'll catch you guys later on today with a brand new video. Hopefully you guys have a great one. Later, dudes. <laughs>